everyone, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. I uploaded a video a couple days ago showing you um, several different outfits that I thrifted and then um, embellished and just um, changed them up somewhat. But I had a lot of questions about how I sewed the pants leg of a pair of jeans. So I wanted to um, just break that down for you today and, and show you how I did that. To catch up a bit, I have a, this floral piece of fabric that I, um, on the back of it, I, I pressed on some heat and bond light, and then I cut out all the flowers. And so I've got a lot of the flowers cut out and they still have that paper on the back. And I'm, I'm peeling that paper away and then I'm laying them on and then ironing, ironing them or pressing them into place. And so I'm gonna, I've got a few more to add. I wanted to, to um, put some of the smaller flowers up on top here and space them out a bit. So it looks like the flowers are falling down into the cuff and I am gonna be tacking this cuff up. So I'm gonna finish just ironing on the last few here and then take it to my sewing machine and show you how I go about sewing this without opening up the side seams or anything. So let's get started. I hope you enjoy this. The sewing machine that I'm using is a Janome and you, need, you do need to have an open arm for to, to do this because this pants leg is going to slide underneath this open arm. Now on, on my machine, my open arm is about it's is about 10 inches so it does have a an extended bed on this but if you're even if your open arm is shorter than this you can still use this method you might just have more pants leg that's gonna um, just be at this end so we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna take this and put it and just slide my my pants leg is open and I'm just gonna slide it right underneath that or in that open arm and then I'm gonna have my workspace to go. Now I have bobbin thread on, and that bobbin thread is just the color white. And I have a, a hot pink, oops, a hot pink um, thread on the top. And this thread is just uh, polyester, just an all-purpose cotton Coates and Clark thread. Nothing fancy with the thread. Um, I do have my free motion foot on, and I do have my feed dogs dropped. Now I'm going to be using a zigzag. So I'm going to be doing a free motion zigzag. This stitch is kind of wonky. I'm just going to, be, I'll be talking a little bit while I'm doing my sewing and I'm going to sew this in just um, normal time. I'm not going to speed it up for you so you can actually see the actual time. Um, Excuse my sewing machine noise. I might try to mute that a little bit, but you know, it's going to be there. Um, another thing I wanted to say is I, I loved free motion zigzagging and, and a subscriber you know, in, in the comments just said, have you ever tried it? It's really fun. And oh, it's really fun. So if any of you want to experiment with it, um, it is just, it just opens up a lot of sewing technique and you're going to see it's kind of messy. Um, but I just love love the detail that it that it gives and so I'm going to zoom in just a little here so you can see um, close up and you'll see the zigzag as I go and again this pants leg it just moves really free you do have to lower always remember to lower your pressure foot which sometimes is a mistake I've done in the past is for just forgetting to lower that because when you do free motion it's the pressure foot isn't close or isn't right on the fabric. Okay, you do wanna have that movement. And another thing that's wonderful about free motion, and the reason why you can do this kind of technique in, in a pants leg, is that you can go sideways and backwards. You don't have to turn your fabric, which is almost, it's, which is, it would be impossible with a pants leg like this. So you're gonna see me going in all directions, and I'm just gonna get started. Now notice when I go sideways, it's gonna be almost like a straight stitch. 
just because of the fact that this is a zigzag going, going sideways. I'm doing all the movement on this. My feed dogs are dropped. But if I'm going forwards and backwards, it's gonna be that zigzag motion. I'm gonna go sideways, and so you'll get to see, I'm gonna kind of, kind of just add some detail to this flower. sure if I mentioned to you before when I started but I have my zigzags set on a, on a on a five the stitch length five you can vary this and and just experiment with how what whatever works for you a narrow narrow one may be a little bit easier to control um, but I do like the look of the of the stitch length five As I continue to go up my pants leg, I'm just gonna have more and more um, fabric or more of the pants leg to the right here. Just kind of, it's just kind of, um, I'm just gonna zoom in here a little bit or, or turn this around. You'll see it, it is just kind of gathering up right here by my, by my um, end of my bed. I do have this overlapping a little on this bulky seam and so I am going really slow um, to make sure I don't break a needle here just kind of taking my time to go over that seam there I'm going to just travel right on the blue jean up to this flower just the st same using the same stitch To do a little zigzag or a little twirl there. I did forget a little bit on this flower and so I'm going to backtrack. little tiny one And that is how I sew my pants legs using the open bed of my sewing machine. I hope you enjoyed this everybody. I hope you learned something. Give it a try and give the free motion um, zigzag a try. It's just a lot of fun. Bye for now.